Welcome to Rami for whole number of one sort problem. So we will do some question in the test. Geraldine has 24 more necklaces than Valerie. How many necklaces must Geraldine give to necklace so that they have equal number of necklaces? So in the model, Geraldine will have more, 24 more than Valerie. So the one equal. So Geraldine, the extra 24, had to give half of it so that it will be equal. So 24 divided by 2, answer is 12. Question 6. There are twice as many chicken as horses. There are 180 horses altogether. How many chicken are there? So when we talk about twice, means three times. So one set, there will be three chicken and one horse. So three chicken will be six legs. One horse will be four legs. So one set itself will have 10 legs altogether. So you mentioned that there are 180 legs altogether. You just take 180 divided by 10 so that we know that there are 18 sets of the animal. So one set has three chicken, as you see. So 18 times three total, there will be 54 chicken. Question seven. Bookstore A had 16,240 books. Bookstore B had 9,892 books. After the same number of books was sold from each bookstore, so here's the keyword, same number of books were sold from each bookstore. The number of books left unsold of book A was four times the number of books left unsold. How many books was sold from each bookstore? So it worked backward. You can have your A four times first. One, two, three, four, B, one. Then it says same number was sold. So you walk back and sold. So this part is the sold. And continue, word by word, A here is 16,240, and B is 9,892. And when you compare, take 16,240 minus 9,892, you can find the three units. So the three units is 16,240 minus 9,892. That will give you... Six thousand three hundred and forty-eight. So six thousand three hundred forty-eight to find one unit will be divided by three equal two one one six. So now you know that one unit is two one one six. Then to find so just take nine eight nine two minus two one one six. Answer is 7,776. <clears throat> Question 8. There are 5 times as many girls as boys. So let's underline. This girl received 3 sweets. This boy received 5 sweets. So let's have one set of 5 girls and 1 boy first. So... 5 times 3, 15, 1 times 5, 5. One set will have total 26. So, uh, okay, this one we can skip. We say that the girl will say 80 more sweets. So let's try again. So, 5 girl will have 5 times 3, 15 sweets. One boy will have 5. So, 15 minus 5. So, one set will have 10 more sweets. Then the boy. So we take 80 more divided by 10 more. We know that there are eight sets all together. So one set have how many kids? Five plus one, six children, right? So obviously eight sets will have 48 children. And that's the answer. Question nine. John packed his pencil in bags of six. So when two more pencils are packed, you pack them in bags of 11. And there are three fewer bags packed than before. So there are a few ways. Of course, we can do listing. So we list in bags of six. So bags of six. So possible answer maybe six. Our pencils, 12, 18, 24. Normally, you list all the way until uh, 60. Yeah. 
10 multiple of 6, then we stop and see first. So 2 more pencil are bought. So plus another 2. That will be 8, 14, 20, 26, 32, 38, 44, 50, 56, 62. Then if here mentioned that best of 11. So your 11, 11, 22, 33, 44. And we stop here. We got 44. So we check. So total there are here need how many bags? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven bags. Then here I need one, two, three, four, four bags. And in this is three fewer bag pads than before. So they ask how many pencils does John have at first? So make sure you choose your answer as 42 because at first. So there are 42 pencils John have at first. Continue to practice more questions on the e learning website at triple w dot study. Singapore Thank you.